Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Was so surreal. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And I can't believe I still have this pencil case. case. I should upgrade to the 21st this century. But I like it old school. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height? I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. She had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken another approach. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? to admit I'm not a big fan of her work I prefer Robert Frank me too Victoria I should take a picture to prove I'm still here plus it's and I have my little camera bag is battered but still kicking conditions of the air but a beauty in the struggle you, you don't have beauty without a beat which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse and both were the great chroniclers of the 19th shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um, 
You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by... Sorry, Robert Max. Williams. No more selfies right now. You can find out all about them in your textbook. Or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing Ath. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computer. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. By putting yourself out there in the world, no matter who wins, this is just a bump. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh, this hi, Max. Not for everybody. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. 
I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a You always Welcome to the real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Just because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. What's the point? She plays it so shy. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. To all of you, American girls. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Without you, American girls, I'd like to. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Watching the world from the bright side. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. To all of you, American Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. Stella is always deep in her nose. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. I cry sometimes, walking around my own. Good thing I left my AK at home. She cries sometimes, talking about There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. No one could try her fountain till she got tired to come Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. God, Samuel is such a weirdo, but I kind of like that about him. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously, but otters are cute. Go otters. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me.
I need to go splash some water on my face and freshen up first. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Just relax, stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress, you you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Victoria, why Arvis? Because of her image. Of Did it. Can you give I me actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human, the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. 
I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Find detail in people's faces. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're... I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the 
butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Well, sir, it's happening again. People trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even- I need a hammer to break it open! Get that gun away from me, psycho! <laughs> Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. What? No! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick! People trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass with... Punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! No... Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control... No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. 
I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Ow! No! Awesome! Yeah! Oh. Hi, Max. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Just... What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> 
Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over it social out. medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. So, do you understand English? Get lost. Nice, bro. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. Keep walking, hippie. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. I must have missed something. I should rewind. Okay, let's see if this works. What the hell? Are you kidding? Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. No, 
Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. No. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed no. up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great, now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time.
I look, I am so addicted to this site. Lauren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. It feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Answer, you wuss. Oh, Julia, this ah. is so stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. Oh, Juliet, I've locked Dana. So stupid. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of you course I do. Nice. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. That's right. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. I should find a way to end this silly standoff.
This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. <clears throat> Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it, she has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay, I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. <laughs> 